For this question, we want to solve the logarithmic equation. Log base 5 of 5x minus 8 equals 3. Above our question, I've written some techniques or methods for solving logarithmic equations. We have two main techniques. One of them is to convert to an exponential equation. We would start off with a log equation, y equals log base b of x, and convert to an exponential, and this is using the definition of a logarithm. We've got the base of the log being the base of the exponent. The log always equals the exponent. So y is our exponent. And what's inside the log is what our exponential expression equals. So this method requires that the logarithm be isolated on one side of the equation. We convert to an exponential using the definition of a logarithm. And then we're going to solve whatever equation is remaining. The other method is using the one-to-one -one property of logarithms. And sometimes this is called the property of equality. So symbolically, we would have log base b of u equals log base b of v. And then this property of equality or the one-to-one -one property would allow us to simplify the equation because what's inside the log on the left must equal what's inside the log on the right. So that would leave us with the equation u equals v. This method requires the logarithmic equation to have a log with the same base on both sides of the equation. And when the bases of the logs are the same, the expressions inside must be equal. And that's because of the one-to-one -one property or the property of equality. And then we'll solve the remaining equation by isolating x. So for our question, we have log base 5 of 5x minus 8 equals 3. And based on these two methods, we can decide which method is appropriate. The first one requires that the log be isolated on one side of the equation. We have a log that is isolated on one side of the equation. The second method requires a logarithmic equation to have a log with the same base on both sides. We do not have a log on the other side that has the same base of 5. So we're going to be using the first method of converting to an exponential. So we're going to take our log equation and rewrite it as an exponential. We have the base of our log will be the base of our exponent. The log always equals the exponent. So this log equals 3. That will be the exponent. And then the expression that's inside the log, 5x minus 8, is what our exponential equals. So we've converted from a logarithmic equation to an exponential equation using the definition of a log. And now we're going to solve the equation that's left. We have 5 to the third power, that's 125 equals 5x minus 8. And I'll solve by adding 8 to both sides. This gives me 133 equals 5x. I'll divide both sides by 5 to get x equals 133. Now with every log equation, you do need to check. You need to check to make sure that you never take the log of a negative. I'm going to check x equals 133 by substituting it into the original equation. Excuse me, that should be 133 over 5. I 
minus 8 equals 3. The 5's cancel, and you've got log base 5 of 133 minus 8 equals 3. 133 minus 8 is a positive value, and we're taking the log of a positive. So let me correct my mistake here. That's 133 over 5 will keep because we have the log of a positive. So this is our solution, 133 over 5. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.